Agent Workspace for HR Case Management Overview. The Agent Workspace for HR Case Management is a refactored version of classic Agent Workspace experience built on configurable UI builder. This allows you to interact with employees, respond to queries, and help resolve their issue. It's an intuitive, easy to use UI, and also gives you multiple tabs, which aids multitasking. It's a single pane view where you can see all the details about an issue in one place. It helps you integrate with the communication channels. So the communication with employees is in real time by chat or phone, and it's part of the same interface. It also provides you with recommendations to assist your agent with faster resolution on cases and incidents. This is how the landing page looks like. Um, with UI Builder, all the components on this landing page can be customized to your needs. So you can have similar components with varied reporting sources, and you can cater this landing pages to target audience. So based on the model of support your organization has, you can have separate landing pages for, for those levels. This helps agent prioritize cases, interactions, and plan for the day in one dashboard. So there are a few icons on this particular landing page. Let's take a look at them. The first icon is the home icon. This provides you with an overview of your work at a glance. So it provides you with information that can help you decide either should I work on an HR case or work on an item that affects my team. So it helps you prioritize. The second icon is the list icon. This provides you with a view to all HR cases, and you can filter and sort by whatever is relevant to you. The third icon is an inbox icon, and this contains HR cases that are assigned to you. Chats and interactions also appear in the agent inbox, and you can indicate if you're available, offline, and away. This is again tied to the advanced work assignment feature. The fourth icon is tabs. This displays lists, HR case numbers and the add icon. Now, if you hover over an HR case number, you can quickly see more details related to the case. For example, um, a description of the case, what HR service is associated, and the subject person. But when you have multiple tabs open, you can only see the case number on the tab by default. However, this is configurable and you can decide what information you want displayed on the tab. The fifth icon is the add icon, and this instantly lets you create either an HR case or an interaction. And an interaction is comes in handy when an employee reaches out to an agent to discuss something, and you want to document and capture that interaction, you can create a new interaction via the add icon. The sixth point here is the dashboard. It's just a graphical representation of the data based on overall HR cases. So. This can help prioritize. This can help show what your SLAs, your service level agreement statuses look like, provide more general information and announcements. Now, when you drill down into a list view, the configurations on this list view can be made at an admin level as well as an agent level. So in the left-hand side, when you look at my list, here, an agent can configure a list that's catered to their needs. So if there are specific things that an agent looks at, that particular my list will help them create specific um, specifics to their use. Now, let's take a look at creating a tuition reimbursement request for Melissa. So this is how the home page looks like. And you have the add icon as mentioned earlier. So you can click on add icon, create an HR case. As this is a new case, we type in Melissa and we do next. And now we type in a center of excellence. And if we don't know, we just click and then you can choose one of the centers of excellence. So it's a tuition reimbursement inquiry. For Melissa Pene, we can select the program, we can select a sample course title, we can select um, the start date, we can select an end date, we can select the cost. 
Yep, and then we submit. Now, if you have similar cases, it's going to show you saying, hey, the case may already exist because I had previously created tuition reimbursement and query cases for Melissa Pena. But it also gives you an option to say, okay, I still want to go ahead and create this case. So I'll go ahead and create the case. Now, this is the case form. If you look at the details tab, you can see you're able to see the case number, for whom it's created, what is the service, and so on. There is also an activity stream, which gives you a place to communicate with the employee via comments on the case, or also add in notes, which are private, just for you when you're working on the case. This is again configurable. You can have a hidden view this way, where it is side by side, or a stacked view. What is one over the other, stacked one over the other. Then the rightmost component is the contextual panel. So the first one is at a glance, wherein at a glance you can see who the employees for the case, if there are any re recent cases that the employee has created. This helps provide like more context around what's happening with the employee's requests. So you're able to build that bigger picture when you are providing a solution to Melissa. The second option is the agent assist. So this is where you can get recommendations on the case. If there is any knowledge associated with it, if there is any similar cases and resolution associated with, this is recommendations that will aid the agent to close the case sooner. Now, if you have Employee Document Manager plugin installed, you'll have this particular icon, which is Employee Documents. So if there are any documents associated with the employee, that will show up here. If there are any attachment associated to the case, that will be this icon. Then we have the response templates. Response templates provides you reusable messages, right? So this will help you be more efficient because you can copy paste these messages into email, chat, comments, work notes, or even use as talking points when you're on the phone. We have fulfillment instructions. So these are focused and targeted information on how an agent can complete um, an HR case faster. Um, you can configure these instructions to appear, um, you know, for a case by group, by service, um, on a particular table, add in more conditions, and you can combine multiple requirements. For example, you can configure a um, different set of fulfillment instructions uh, to appear based on the geographic location of the employee. Last one is the checklist. So checklist is very helpful when, you know, um, you, you have a certain set of criteria that have to be looked at when working on a case. So it will help you reduce the number of errors that can be caused or things that are missed when working on a case. So it could be like verify the employee, verify the receipts, verify um, transcripts or manager approval. Now, if you're new to configurable agent workspace, um, when you just type in agent workspace, The first link that comes under HR case management is a link to a guided setup. So this guided setup is step-by-step -step process of what you should be configuring. And once you click on them, it also takes you to configure and provides you more information about what you're doing and how you can go about doing it. So you have branding and theming, the tab setting, the configurations on the list form, and there are additional um, configurations like how do you set up search, um, advanced work assignments, and so on. So this guided setup will be a very good place to start if you are new to configurable agent workspace. Now, if you are using classic agent workspace and you're planning on migrating to configurable agent workspace, there are resources on our community, especially um, this one here is a migration guidelines. Um, again, based on the amount of customizations you have, we understand that the effort that's required may not be the same. Uh, but this is definitely a good resource as a guidelines to say, what are things that you have to consider? So please use this resource and plan accordingly. Now, if you have um, you know, further questions or need more assistance, um, uh, you know, reach out to um, uh, us via posting the question in community. So we do have um, an ask a question. 
as an option community where you can post questions and uh, get opinions from um, other folks who are using are in the similar situation or are using or uh, using agent workspace can definitely guide you um, with your with the solution to your requirement.